Former England manager Sven Gon Eriksson sadly revealed last week that he may have less than a year to live after being diagnosed with terminal cancer. The Swede led England's golden generation, a team filled with stars like David Beckham, Wayne Rooney, Frank Lampard, to three major tournaments in his five-year spell, most importantly, beating Germany 5-1 as part of qualifying. Yeah, two World Cups, one Euro. Sven joins us now from his home in Sweden. Sven, it is so good to see you this morning. How are you Thank feeling? You. Okay. I'm okay, considering the situation. I'm, I'm fine. Well, thank you for choosing to talk to us. Um, I know that viewers will, you know, be sending you their support. Just talk us through what happened when you had this shock diagnosis of pancreatic cancer. Yeah, I was at home and uh, everything normal. I have no pain, nothing. No, uh, so I fall down, uh, fainted. And they took me to the hospital and they did a lot of examination and they said I had four small strokes and they wondered why I had that and then they took x-ray of the whole body and it came out that I have cancer in the pancreas and uh, well what they said is we can't operate it but we can uh, try to run slower than it normally does. So that's what I'm doing now. Sven, there's huge um, kind of respect, fondness for you here in the UK. You were a pioneer. You did some brilliant things with our um, England football team. And, um, and I know people will be sending you kind of great love and support now. Um, how are you uh, dealing with um, this terrible news? What is your, uh, your philosophy for the months ahead? How do you... Um, do you cope mentally with such a, a tough diagnosis? Yeah, of course. The day you, you got the, the prognosis, and uh, that, that was not good, of course. It came like from nowhere, it came like a shock for me and my children, the whole family. But after a while, you, you have to work with it and don't think about it uh, 24 hours a day. And, don't sit at home and doing nothing. Uh, live your life uh, as normal as possible, uh, as long as you can. And that's what I'm doing, really. I refuse to give up. I, uh, I want to live every day a normal life. I can't run a marathon, no. But I can go to the gym, I can do exercise, as I always did in my life. I can uh, <clears throat> have people here in my house visitors and having coffee and yeah, everything is normal, more or less. It's remarkable, isn't it? Because it must be <clears throat> so devastating, but you are living in the moment now, aren't you? You're totally determined because yes. you, you have a certain period of time, but you want to live normally. I want to live normally and uh, the aim of the rest of my life is to wake up in the morning and feel okay. And most of the morning I feel okay. So that's, it's not good, but it's as good as it can be. Yeah, and what will that involve? What will living a normal life, not running a marathon, obviously, as you say, <laughs> no, no. What, what, will, what will your days, what are your days filled with in order to enjoy every day? No, I, <clears throat> I have a lot of friends here in Sweden, of course. They're coming to visit me. I go out having a coffee with them, a lunch with them or things like that. So I, I try to be normal. Uh, I'm traveling a little bit less than I did before, but I'm still traveling. I hope to come to England maybe to see England, Brazil. I think it is in March. That could be... Uh, that could be a game in the World Cup, the final in the World Cup. But they have a friendly mode. We'll see, but uh, yeah, I'm not complaining and I refuse to sit down and crying and feeling sorry about myself. No. Sven, as long as... Sorry. Yep. Sven, I have to ask you a, a, a football question. I was... Um, because you mentioned England-Brazil. 
Um, I actually went to the last night of Dear England, the play about Gareth Southgate on Saturday. And, um, and you and Gareth Southgate are our two most successful um, England managers in World Cups of, 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 um, of my lifetime. And I just wondered, you. when yeah. you think, you know, you were the first ever um, non-British national manager of England, it's such yeah. a terribly difficult, stressful job. <laughs> what conclusions do you draw from that? What advice did you give to your successors about what it is to be England manager and how to do it well? Well, Southgate, he doesn't need any advice at all. He's doing a great job and I think uh, he might win the World Cup. Uh, the team is very, very strong. Uh, but, you know, stressful, yes, of course. You need to win as many games as possible. It's not accepted to lose if you are the, the coach of England. But I enjoyed every day. I was very, very proud to have that job. And I had it for five, five and a half years. So I'm a lucky man, for sure. Because the England job is probably the biggest football job you can have as a manager. So I'm glad you've got fond memories of it. That's, that's good because there was some controversy, of course, when you came into the post. And you, know, you, you perhaps didn't get as far as you might have wanted to. But it sounds to me like you don't. You also don't want to live with any regrets, Sven. No, no regrets. But um, if I look back on it, uh, the World Cup in Germany, we should have done better. We should have reached semi-final, final. We could have won it because at that time, I couldn't see any team stronger than England. But we lost penalties again, Portugal again, <laughs> unfortunately. Uh, but um, we should have done better. That's it. Do you have unfulfilled ambitions that you're focused on? When you say you want to live life normally, does that include trying to do things that you wish you had done? Yeah, but, you know, when you are in a situation as I am, I'm not going to make journeys a lot, travel a lot. Because I've seen a lot and uh, I've been in many, many nice places. I think my big aim is to wake up in the morning and feel well. And that's enough for me and I'm very happy every day I can do that. Then some traveling I'm going to do and I want to go to England in March to probably see that game. That's a great game. And did you know, because you'd mentioned, of course, that you'd never managed Liverpool. Um, <laughs> did you know that Liverpool fans have called on the club to allow you to manage the Legends team in the charity home match against Ajax in March? There is a, <laughs> there's a groundswell of support behind that. Would be, that be something you'd like to do? <laughs> no, I didn't know about that. I knew that they have a charity game in March, I think it is. And via my son, I'm invited to see that game. And that might be great. There will be a lot of good football players here. But uh, that I should be their manager. No, I never heard that. I don't <laughs> well, know well, is it, If they offered it to you, would you accept? I would accept, of course. <laughs> <laughs> well, to Robbie Fowler... That's been my dream. <laughs> Robbie, it, well, that would be your dream? Yeah, that's always been my dream, but uh, like a dream, I... I'm not complaining. I had a lot of good football teams, national teams and the clubs, so I'm, uh, I'm happy <laughs> anyhow. Well, Robbie and Fowler now... says the call has gone in, so, so it, <laughs> it may still come to pass. Sven, Sven it's Uno. so lovely to talk to you. And we hope when you're over in, in March, you might come in and have a chat with us here in the studio. We want to interrogate <laughs> you on your prediction that England might win the next World Cup. We are, um, we are hopeful they that might, you're right. They might win it. They might we... win it. I... OK, I will come. Thank you. For Brilliant. The Thank you, Sven. Lovely to see you. It is yeah. not just lovely to see you, it's inspiring to see you. Your message is, is incredibly powerful. And thank you. Thank you. Thank Cheers. you so much. Cheers, Sven. Thank you so much.